is always a concern. Um, it's something that we're aware of in our programme, the coaches are aware of. Um, and I think it's just a matter of minimising risk. Um, you should never have uh, an absolute assurance. Um, perhaps, unfortunately, or fortunately, one of the benefits of coming here today is that I'm now even more aware uh, of what the risk is um, and uh, of what the risk is without a, a very structured approach to the use of supplements. It's a complex, it's a really, really complex area, and uh, it's times that even I. I struggle uh, with, uh, with some of the concepts, uh, with some of the substances, uh, and I've got a medical degree. Um, uh, the laws, uh, the wider code can be quite complex. Um, uh, the uh, punishments involved can be can be quite variable depending on what uh, you've taken and when. Um, so I, I really, really feel for young athletes who perhaps uh, don't yet have the education or understanding regarding this area. It's a huge, it's a huge worry. HFL is suggesting one universal standard, is that something you'd welcome? I really would do, I really would do just to simplify uh, simplify things for athletes. In my sport, Bob's Day, we compete in multiple country, countries during the season um, and it would just make things so much easier if you could recognise um, a market of uh, validation of testing that was present in uh, supplements that were sold in, in every country in the European Union, that would be a huge benefit.